Hi, hi folks. This video is another expose in reference to the fascists at Faceless Book. Folks, goose stepping upon all our rights. They create the public square, sucker you in, and then they stomp on you with censorship. Recently, someone posted a chart illustrating deaths by various diseases or maladies, and COVID was towards the bottom. Well, faceless book covered it up. They didn't like it. That's right. Because we're supposed to fear COVID as being the number one cause of death in the United States so the economy could be shut down, thus causing President Trump to lose. And the excuse they used was that it didn't properly reflect the impact, the impact of COVID. What? What does that mean? It didn't properly reflect the impact of COVID. Of course it didn't properly reflect it because it was low at the bottom when it needed to be on the top according to the fascist and faceless book. Now we go on a little further. Someone posted a quote, a meme quote, of President Abraham Lincoln. And Faceless Book decided, we're going to cover that up. And the reason why they covered it up is because Faceless Book claims, gee, he never said that. What? How could you say somebody never said something? especially when they lived over 100 years ago. So Facebook must have an expensive database that they have the transcript of everything President Lincoln said since he was slapped on the butt at Burt to the fatal day at Ford's Theater. Yeah, they have that transcript because they know everything he ever said. And by having that transcript, they know he never said what was in that meme. Yeah, I can understand that bunch of morons. How could you say someone never said something unless you have a transcript or word for word of everything they ever said? Now, someone, <laughs> someone posted a meme in reference to, it was a pro-choice meme. And Faceless Book, the face, the fascist there, they covered it up. And the claim was, it was insensitive. Yeah. It was insensitive because it pointed out the lunacy, the inconsistencies of those pro-abortion people. That was insensitive when you point out to the truth. Facebook, goose-stepping across our rights with censorship. Now some of you are going to say, well, it's a private group. They can do what they want. They're no longer a private Well, they are legally. But once you create a public square, that's what it becomes. There's no censorship in the public square. Since they virtually have no competitor and they created this public square, there should be no censorship. Only if our government would realize this fact, as in other situations in the past. <laughs> Lots of luck on that. <laughs> we'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. See ya. Ha 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 ha!